As a freshman at the 1.0 Hayward Field, did you ever envision a scenario like this like today? Um, I mean, I think I thought as a freshman, like, I wanted to win NCAAs. Like, that was my goal. And, you know, I never did that. I was second twice. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I really thought that it could happen one day, and it just it all came together today. So, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. It looks nothing like it did freshman year, but it's the same, like, Hayward magic for sure. What worked today? <laughs> What worked? Yeah, what worked? Um, I, d I think just like belief that I could and that like, uh, I remember talking to my coach like before, he's like, whatever happens, like if it's slow and fast, like you have all the tools and like, I, no one could have predicted what the hell that was, but like, um, I don't know, it just, it kind of was like staying calm in the beginning and then making big moves at the end and like, I love the 15 because of the strategy and it was just, that was a race based on like, who could figure it out and like it was just really fun. <laughs> what did it feel like when you knew you won? I don't know. I like literally like don't have words for it but like I think relief because it's like you build up to this race so much and like uh, but at the end of the day it was just like another race and like you're just beating people around you so like so much relief, joy, like every emotion. <laughs> Um, I think I w obviously was like, holy shit, I, this is a thing, Mo. Like, <laughs> but like, also you're like, it's just another person. Like, you know, um, at that point, it's just bodies, and like, how many people can I be? And like, um, yeah, I mean, obviously everyone in there is like a class act and has done incredible things. Um, but like, I know that I'm like a great runner too. Like, and I just just had belief in myself and. You know, some of these things is just luck and like the stars aligning on the day. And like, I think just today was my day, but it, it could have been anyone's, like, for sure. Was there anything you think made the difference, like, a move you made in the race that kind of helped you win? Um, I honestly don't even remember much of it. Um, I think just telling myself to be patient in the chaos that was the first couple laps, but, um, I, I always like to make a move at 500, and I think I got in a really good spot uh, with the at the bell lap, and so I think I think that was that was a good move. <laughs> uh, Ray described it as like the most physical race that she has ever yeah. been in. I mean, did you feel that as well? <laughs> yeah, like I don't think a single person didn't get spiked. It was like insane, uh, but. Yeah, I, I honestly, someone stepped on the, the back of my foot, like the first hundred, and like I felt my shoe almost slipping yeah, off. Yeah, I just took like one hard step and it went yeah. back on. So like, yeah, it, it was very physical and chaotic, but like I think just staying like calm and confident was kind of like the two words I kept repeating to myself and and it all it all worked out. <laughs> in addition to that, I guess like you, you have the American flag on you right now, but like when in the stands, there's someone holding like the trans flag. And yeah. I guess for you, what is that, what is that like? You, you just want to see me cry, don't no, you? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, no, it was awesome. Like, I think, you know, there's so many, like, so much hate right now, and, like, specifically the bills being passed for trans youth, and, like, I just, I feel like the LGBTQ community, like, needed a win, and I was, like, I don't know, there's so many things that go through your mind in the race, and for every reason, like, that was kind of in the back of my mind, and I was, like, I, I saw that trans flag right when I, like, came out before the race even started, and I was, like, like that person like I don't know their pronouns or who they are but like they brought that flag and and I bet they're here for me and and you know um, yeah I saw it after the race and I gave my bid because I was like like I, I did a whole victory lap holding my bid I was like I want to give it to that one person because they they were the reason that like you know I won or, or one of them like they pulled it out of me so yeah it was it was awesome and like uh, track is a super niche sport and I don't even know if that many trans or queer people watch, but like the ones that do, like that's what I do it for, you know. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.